That's the first pre-season out of the way, Brad. How did you find that performance and how did you find the first pre-season game? I thought we'd done well, especially um, you know, chances-wise, um, fitness-wise was, was very good. I was a bit disappointed with some of the organisation of uh, 
in early on in the game. Um, but I think that's just people getting their second breath and second wind. And um, I think when we spoke about it at half time, the boys were honest and they said, yeah, look, we understand what, where we went wrong. And we went out in a different formation. We tried a different formation second half. And I think the boys done well as well. They adjusted and some good touches off of people. Um, again, the boys done very well in front of goal towards the end. And, uh, I think we defended a lot well at the end. And, uh, Bobby done well in goal, and so did Nathan McDonald. So two good goalkeepers. Yeah, we always get excited by new players joining the club, and we had big, big Uju at the back. Mm. Um, we've uh, also had Merrill in midfield. Merrick, yeah. Merrick, sorry. We get used to their names as we go along. Um, <laughs> how do you think they're going to fit in, and what sort of uh, pedigree do they bring to the to the new club? All right, this Curtis more organisation. Okay. Of... <laughs> And um, <laughs> um, it's, no, 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 it's, no, no. it's something different than what we had from last season, and I just think this position for you know people playing in in, in right areas where he'll, he'll he'll stop silly mistakes uh, from what we made when you know, we was creating five six chances last year and missing them and then making a mistake at the other end. I think he organised it'll bring that in uh, defensive unit and organisation of, of where people should be when the game's in the other end. Um, Merrick's still finding his feet with, with fitness and, and players who he's playing with as well. Um, but he's another good player, very strong on the ball and uh, comfortable. But it's minutes, you know, people plan for minutes at this moment in time to get fitness under their belt. And like I said, Nicky Ahmed come in, Nigel, um, the boy's done very well. Um, I thought Ricky Gabriel done very good today. Um, and again, the two, two goalkeepers have done very well. Yeah, and um, one lad we're surprised to be seeing here is Corey Whiteley. Yeah. He's done well. Uh, We're not complaining. For, no, no, no. I've got a lot of time for Corey Whiteley. Um, I like to feel that we've coached him and, and, and improved his game an awful lot since we've been here. Um, and all we can do is keep working with him and, and encourage him to listen to us rather than other people um, and let his feet do the talking. Um, have, have the other distractions at the end of last season gone to one side now? Or are they still lingering? Um, I expect Corey to be starting. Personally, yeah, I, I, you can't tell. At the minute, I'll do everything I can to keep this lad here. But at the mm. end of the day, it, I want players to progress and, and do well for themselves, and say that they play for him full time and, and, and do that. That's all you can do. Push someone to be full time football. But at the end of the day, if people keep messing him about, then he's welcome back with open arms here, as far as I'm concerned. And, and as you can see, what he gives you week in week out, his, his, his fitness, his strength, is his improving. Um, and he's always going to get your goals. So I, yeah, well, I think, I think I mean, he done well. If he can get his head right, and I'll pick him up again from what happened last season, two seasons before when yeah. he got dropped, you know, like second spuds. And uh, as I said, I put him in a platform that he deserves to be at. And, and all I'm going to do is keep encouraging these boys to work hard. Yeah, well, the fans love him. You know, he's a kid's favourite as well, and he's obviously very popular with the supporters. You know, we, we hope he does stay because. Yeah, this is his place. This is his absolutely. home. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, he's you know he's a, he's a lad that wants to improve and, and full time football is if it's on offer, it's on offer for him. But, absolutely. You can't um, you can't stop progression, but if he's, he's got, got there, do, all he's got to do personally is listen to what I'm telling him and yeah. keep working hard when when he is with me. And, uh, he's fit for the talk. Don't need agents. Don't need people like that. Um, he, he got himself where he is now and he's playing week in week out. And that's all it matters. Uh, Imid wasn't involved today, is he still involved? He's been away, he's missed a couple of um, sessions through fitness and stuff like that. So um, he's still finding his feet with his fitness, but um, he'll probably be involved next week. Yeah, and what about Bradley? Is he going to be... Me? In? Yeah, oh, you. <laughs> my fitness levels are nowhere near where they should be at this moment in time. But no, I'm enjoying it. Look, the boys, the squad's looking good. Um, we look to improve in, in forward line and, and, and midfield. And, Defensively, we're doing very well at this moment in time. So. Yeah. Cheers, Brad. Look forward to Tuesday. No worries, Cheers.